This is a calculator into which I have programmed functionality of the main four arithmetic operations using stack data structure. For example, five, four, then add them. You're going to end up with nine, six, two, and subtract them. You're going to get four. Let's say seven, two, and then divide them. That's 3.5, and 5, 3, and then multiply them, you can get 15. If I try to, uh, let's say, divide by 0, so 5, 0, and divide, I'm going to get a divide by 0 error. And there are other errors programmed into this as well, such as an empty stack error if there's not enough input for the operation. So if I try and just do an operation, stack empty. You may have noticed that I was not inputting expressions in the typical way, which is because this is a postfix or reverse Polish notation or simply RPN calculator. Postfix, infix, and prefix are three different ways of writing expressions. A simple way to understand them is by drawing a binary logic tree. In infix, which we are used to, a node and its two children will be read left to right. Three plus two. This is the way we're used to. In prefix, it's read root node first, then children left to right. Plus three, two. In postfix, it is read children left to right, then root node. Three, two, plus. So these are the same expression written in infix, prefix, and postfix. So you may be thinking, why use uh, postfix or prefix? That just seems more complicated, but it really isn't. It's just that we're so used to seeing infix that the other two look odd, but they do have advantages over infix. Since in postfix, um, each operator always applies to the two operands before it, and all operators are read left to right, it eliminates the need for brackets to distinguish order of operations. So the way you read postfix is, for example, if you have two, six, four, minus times, then this is going to become, you're going to take your leftmost operand, or operator, sorry, and apply it to these two operands, and you're going to get, that's going to simplify to two, two times, which is going to be four. No brackets are needed because of the way that this is read. In infix, this would be written, 9 minus 5 times 2, you would need brackets here, times 2 plus 3. Simple enough, but you do need these brackets. With postfix, you would have 9, 5, minus 2 times. This simplifies to 11. So you can see here how postfix eliminates the need for brackets. So this calculator uses stack data structure, which is a last in first out or LIFO data structure, meaning that the last element to be added to the stack will always be the first one to be removed. This can be thought of like a literal stack of plates. The last plate placed on the stack will be the first to be taken out. So I've drawn out an example here. If you add in the order A, B, then C, and that's called a push operation when you add to the stack, then you take them all off. You're going to remove them in the order C, B, A, which is called a pop operation, and you're going to end up in the reverse order from where you put them in. You put them in A, B, C, you get them out C, B, A. There's also, there's one more as well. There's one more operation called peak, where you just, it would just return whatever the top uh, element of the stack is at that time without removing it. So in the calculator, this stack is used to store operands. Every time the enter key is hit, the number on screen is added to the top of the stack. Additionally, the solution after applying an operator is also added to the stack. So if I do two, enter, five, enter, four, enter. Now there are three elements on the stack uh, with four being the topmost one. 
Pressing the minus button will pop the top two off the stack, five and four, resulting in five minus four equals one. Pressing plus now will pop the most recent two off the stack again, this time being the new one and two, adding them together for a final result of three.